All right, folks, look what I got. I got the Crossman target pistol, the 1720T. Randy got this for doing a, a, a job on a, on a vehicle. He's real good at uh, doing vehicles anyway. We're going to let him shoot this thing. I, he put this in my hands, and I'm telling you, man, I felt the quality right out of the gate. So we're going to shoot it a little bit and uh, show you the accuracy of this thing. It is definitely target worthy. All right, so here's Randy with his new toy. What is your initial impression of that sucker? That's freaking Man, awesome. I tell you. That's uh, awesome, isn't it? They, when I got this gun, they said they wanted me to start shooting in, in tournaments, you know, like I do my rifle. And I'm just not a big pistol fan, never have been, really. I mean, I enjoy just planking around with them, but not serious. I never had one that was really accurate enough. Yeah, like BBs or little yeah. power pistols, co This thing right here, let me tell you. Uh, we're, we're actually we're going to shoot a legal target 25 yards that legal size actually it's a quarter inch smaller mm -hmm. than the legal target yep. and I'm going to shoot it just like I would be shooting it in a tournament sitting on my little stool with my little bipod right here just like this mm -hmm. and uh, just to show you how accurate this little gun really is mm -hmm. this gun actually won the 2012 national field target championship in the pistol class that was the guy that gave it to you the guy that you gave did. it to me he shot it in 2012 and he won but uh he's starting to get up in age and he doesn't have enough energy to shoot two different classes and he enjoys <laughs> his rifle so i sweet talked him out of this yep it's a good deal but uh yeah it is definitely a remarkable little little uh pistol I'm shooting the Falcon 7.3s. Loves the 7.3s. It loves them. I've you, shot a bunch of different pellets out of here, and this is by far the one it likes. That's a wicked looking gun, man. How's it looking? That's good looking. That's it? Oh man, you almost got Oh my goodness, man. Look at that. That's what he just shot. Was it five or six shots? Right there. That is a smaller than uh, competition target. Yeah, that's a quarter, quarter inch. inch. Quarter inch smaller. And every yeah. one of them was inside it easily. That is unbelievable. Which one was the top shot? What was that? That was my last shot. That was your last shot. That's first four or five shots was right there that's incredible that's, that's in my pinky nail that's a heck of a gun right there man good yeah. job crossman eh oh man i tell you that one's got the uh luther walther choked barrel in it it's just and it comes with it that right? it comes with it yeah well you can order two different kinds you can order the actual uh target and then they've got another one that you can buy it doesn't have the uh, Luther Walther. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's like three hundred and seventy-four dollars hmm. or something like that. That is a heck of so, a gun. I shot that it before gun too. There is just and Randy's a better shot than I am, and I shot it. And I shot pretty good with it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, wow, this is a really good gun. Good job, but man. It is. It's sweet. That's a sweet little gun. Yep. The trigger is just incredible. You know, you, you when you grab it and you feel it. It, it basically feels exactly like the trigger on a 2400 or a 2240 or uh, Discovery or you know one of those but then when you go to pull it it breaks different oh my god it's it's just like as soon as your finger touches it it yeah. goes off yeah you know, you're talking ounces not pounds yeah you know so that's the difference right there of accuracy a lot a lot of accuracy problems are because the trigger pull you have to pull the trigger so you pull the gun to the right or if you're left-handed you pull it to the left yeah not with this one you touch right the on. trigger and it's going off right on nice gun really nice gun i'm looking forward to shooting it next year yep here's our target range folks i bet you randy can hit that 50 yard target right there with that pistol oh yeah what do you think should we okay. go for it yeah might not hit it every shot and, but. and just to let y'all know the hole on that knockdown target out here is actually smaller than yeah this the what and that's our 50 yard target there and this is actually a 15 yard target 
That's for 15 yards. That's not pistol. That's for rifle. Yeah, it's rifle. At uh, yeah, 10 to 15, I think. I'll show y'all my rifle one day. Yeah, we'll do that. That's an inch right here, isn't it? Or is that three quarters? Uh, what is that? It's a one inch. It's a one inch target. It's one inch. This is our 50 yard target here. And that's supposed to be at 25 yards. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, uh, 50 is further than... Yeah, 50 is like a two inch hole. You gonna see if you can hit it with that pistol? Oh, I can hit it. All right, let's go do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I think you hit I it. I hit it that time. You hit it, dude. Yeah, didn't... I didn't knock it down. It didn't fall over. Uh -uh. It ain't got no power. I hit it though. It sounded different. Yeah, I hit it. There's no way. Look at there. So he just did five shots of this thing. Four hit that. And we know it One hit went it. in. But it's just, look at that. I'm it, I'm, it won't knock it down. There yeah. it goes. I've got it too, leaning too far forward. It wasn't, it wasn't strong enough to uh, knock yeah, it down. It needs to be like that right there. It's hard to hit it. 50 yards, man. Yeah. Yeah, let me get the stick up under Nope, there's the pellet. All right, explain why you shot the can at 50 yards with that with the uh, Crossman target pistol. Just well, the, the the rule of thumb to have enough power for an ethical kill, you should be able to shoot through both sides of a soup can or a bean can, corn can, any kind of metal can. If the pellet doesn't go through both sides, then more likely you don't have enough foot pounds of energy to ethically kill an animal humanely yeah. you know and so 50 yards that did not that did not it went through this side but just put a little dent on the back side so i know at 50 yards yeah the pellets in there come on so we, we want yep yeah, there it is we want ethical kills me and randy we want good clean kills you know i don't want anything to suffer i mean but you did get a clean kill at 43 yards it was a good shot gun. placement. Yeah, it was good shot placement. And even that was enough power. If you really put the pellet right where it needs to be, Neck maybe. you could kill them. Uh, now nah, I'd probably go with a headshot on that Headshot, one. really? Yeah. So uh, we were out shooting our 25s, uh, Marauder and Hotson, and Randy brought that. And I looked behind me and I saw a squirrel and it was 43 yards and he nailed it. Yeah. And it killed it. We saw blood everywhere. But, Found uh, that sucker. But at 50 yards, that's a, that's another seven yards. That's yep, a, yeah. That's a good bit it of difference. It starts dropping. Foot but so uh the conclusion of this gun <laughs> that's just a kill that's, it, I love, it's a beast right i love here. that gun he also has the shoulder stock for it the crossman yeah. shoulder stock turn it into a little carbine and he does shoot even a little better with that because it's more yeah. like a carbine rifle yeah. that's just gorgeous man crossman did a fantastic job on yeah. this yeah. 17 20 t yeah and the scope you have on is what it's called a what it's a swat it's called a swat millbot yeah so he's got it on 12 power now that's legal for uh yeah target shooting good job yeah. man that's that's a that's a that was a heck of a heck of a what he did a little car work on some cars and yeah got that got that gun that it, awesome. it matches my uh i was quite jealous rifle. when he got it i was like oh my god are you kidding me you got that for working on a car <laughs> and good. then it's got this aftermarket yeah aftermarket. pistol grips yeah. on it you know yeah. a little bit more of a thumb thing but that is it cool. is a good shooting little gun i'm looking forward to shooting it in tournaments next year yep yeah yeah you're doing good with your marauder 17s so yeah might as well stick with crossman and benjamin products so far they're working for you oh yeah Oh yeah, no complaints. All right, signing out from uh, Oregon. It's getting a little colder here, folks. There's our target range.